Good evening. Uh, some of you are aware uh, that I am studying artificial intelligence and uh, ancient Indian scriptures in parallel right now. Today, I came across something uh, very interesting, which I'm sharing with all of you. Now, today I was studying Vedic uh, mathematics. And um, in this process, uh, let me share my screen so that I will explain. So in this process, I came across this sutra, which is called Ekadhi Kena Purneva, Purvena. This, this effectively means one more than the previous one. Now, this sutra can be used for finding squares of numbers which end with five. So let me show you, illustrate how this works. Then we will discuss this further. So supposing, uh, suppose we have a number ending with five, let's say it is 35. And uh, we want to find 35 squared. So according to this Ekadi Kena Purvena, how to do it is like this. Take this number 35 and leave out the 5. That is, leave out this part. Take only this part. So I get a 3 from this. Now what you do is that you add 1 to 3. So Ekadi Kena means one more than. So add 1 to 3. So you have two numbers now and you multiply these two numbers. So what you get is three into four. This is equal to 12, right? And then you take this number five and square it. So when you square this five, you get 25. So now, the, now you put these two numbers together. So you put one, two from here and you put 2 5 from here so this number this is equal to 35 square let's let's prove it now i have got a calculator with me so the 35 and x square i do i get 1 2 2 5 you see this works so I can we can we can do it with another example also. Uh, let's let's take another example. Let's take the number one one zero five, and uh, let's apply ekadikena purvena. So this number I take out the five from here. So this five I will just square it. This becomes twenty five. Then I take 110 from here, uh, 110, and I multiply it with one more than 110, that is 110 plus 1. So I get 11110 into 111. This is equal to. Let me do it on a calculator instead of trying to use my memory. This is equal to one, two, two, one, zero. So I take this number, one, two, two, one, zero, and put this 25 beside it. So I put 25. So this is equal to one one zero five squared. Let's again verify. So I put one one zero five x squared. So this is you see one one zero one one two two one zero two five. So this works. Now, uh, incidentally, this also works for decimal numbers. So let's 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 try let's try a decimal number. Um, let's take a arbitrary number 37.25, 37.25. Now what I do is that I take out the five. Now only difference is that this five is in the hundredth position, one hundredth position. So it is 0 0.05. So when I square this 0 0.05, when I 
square this, square, this becomes equal to 0 0.0025. Correct, if you don't believe my maths, I can show it to you here. Uh, 0 0.05 x squared, so this is 0 0.0025. Now what we do is that from this side, now we have got left with 37.2. So this part, I take it here. And now what I have to do is that I have to multiply this with one more. So it is 37.2 plus 0 0.1. Because I have got one decimal place. So this becomes 37.2 into 37.3. So this is equal to this. This let's multiply this and see how much we get. So this becomes 37.2 into 37.3. So this is 1, 3, 87.56. Now what we have to do is that we take this number and we take this number and we add this together. So we have to add this together. So how, when we add this, this is a difference from dealing with uh, natural numbers. So we get 1387.56625. So I can verify this for you. This is 37.25 x squared. So you see it's getting 1387.5625. So this works, right? Now, uh, th this is uh, this is not my intention of showing you this, though it may be interesting for some people, many people will not find it interesting. So what I did was that I programmed this using Python, this Vedic method of uh, doing this. Now, this program, it works. You can see that it is finding the squares of all my test cases. This is the same 625 for 25 squared, 75 squared, 56, 25, etc. It works for negative numbers also. It works for decimal numbers also. It works for boundary cases like I find square square of five. It finds it as 25, etc. It works for everything. So now the interesting part what I found was that I now applied the Vedic method. This is this function and I applied the normal squaring method offered by Python and compared the time taken by the two methods. So when I input a number, a relatively small number like this, the Python function for squaring is faster, but it is marginally faster only, not very much faster. But then when I increase the size of the number in terms of its significant digits, you notice that the Vedic method is taking less amount of time. Though marginally, but it is taking less amount of time. This is this uh, time can be significant, actually. Now, if I try a negative number, which is also relatively very small negative number, the raw method is faster So, in the for the negative number. When I try a slightly more smaller negative number, the Vedic method is faster. When I try a decimal number, however, the raw method is faster. Decimal, the amount of computation the Vedic method has to do is too many. So the raw method is much faster. So I hope you found this interesting. Thank you very much.